This begins our journey down to the beach. Down here you're going to see what has eroded away. We'll just take a minute or two. We're on South Woodby Island off Bush Point at the State Park, which has been closed now. I believe this is the second season. And I don't understand, but they say it's closed indefinitely. Something about trees being diseased, posing a danger to campers. And there's still trees coming down. We do have notorious windstorms here. You just have to watch where you're going. Once in a while we get to pick these raspberries. Storm loves these things. You can hear the crows. I think there must be a bald eagle perched in a tree above. When you hear the gaggling of crows, that's sort of a good indication that there's a bald eagle in the neighborhood. Or is that a murder of crows? It's probably a murder of crows. A gaggle of geese. Now this part of the path is untouched. Look, <clears throat> looks very stable. I can only think that there are underground streams throughout this particular area that have caused the damage. Because what you're about to see was most shocking to me. I, I'm not sure if, if there had been something earlier, years back, uh, that had to be rectified. I do know that the um, geotechs were down here before they repaired the now bridge which is uh, again in need of repair.
As you can see, the, um, the path splits up. This part goes over across the footbridge to campgrounds and picnic areas. And this one leads you down to the beach. They put in these, um, not sure what the correct word is, tiles. So when there's a heavy rain, that the water shifts and goes into the woods rather than down and washing out the path. So uh, thus far, it has worked. We do get rain here. Not a heavy, heavy rain, but, but uh, rain. So this is where, most recently, we had a slide. And it took out at least three quarters of the path. As you can see, you have to really make your way, watch your footings. Now when this path was made, you can see now the drainage that they used to divert the water. This is one of those collapsible hoses and next to it is another hose. And then you see this, what I call rit rack. And down there is where a lot of that hose ended up. It's actually supposed to be up where my feet are on this path. But now the path, as they say, three quarters of it is down there. Probably a good four feet down, at least. It's a mystery to me how this happened. You can see the, the exposure of what was the fabric, stabilizing fabric. Maybe it's a more than Maybe, I'm not sure, five, six feet down? Jumped quite a bit. And you can see water there. So that's got to be the culprit. And over here, it's pretty evident that it came off here. This is the hill. And it too looks like it's been disturbed. Exposing layers of rotted trees and other leaves. There's a big hollow hole there. Now when we come down here, it looks as though this slide isn't over. You can see cracks where it's going to probably continue to break away. It's just a matter of time.
right about where Storm is standing, you can see this big crack. And that's right in the pathway. And another one right next to it. Parallel. Over here, where the foxglove is, you can see a crack running right along the other edge which is up against the cliff. Look at that crack. Runs all the way around here. Several feet. And then up here, you can also see cracks running along there to the left. I don't know how far to the left because of the under, all this overgrowth. But over here, the crack starts at the foot of the hill. and runs right in front of me across the path. Now coming down here, we'll make our way to the stairs and uh, those stairs buckled up several months back and it looked like it was done had settled everything was stable for those of you who don't know what a banana slug is that's a banana slug Oh, and this is a different type of banana slug. I don't know the different names, but he's totally different. They seem to come out when it's uh, really moist, and we have overcast today, and feels very dense, almost like a hundred percent humidity. Not like the East Coast humidity, by the way, but it's humid today. Now this part of the path is very stable. The way it was engineered seems that it's holding up quite well. Here's another banana slug. That one is quite dark.
making my way around that one. How thoughtful of you, Storm, to keep stopping and looking back to see how far back I am. I'm coming. Almost there. Some mammoth Douglas firs out here, that's for sure. We're almost to the beach. You can see it from here. You certainly can hear it. Now this is where the old slides was. And it looked as though it, you know, hasn't done anything. But then when you come down here, you can see it has actually eroded even more. And there's a constant stream of water underneath all this. Let's see if I can get down here without killing myself. And my flip flops. This is eroded even more. You can see these tiles have buckled. I didn't think they could possibly buckle anymore. And they're so heavy. You can't move them. I don't know how they got them in here. I guess with a crane. But the uh, soil around them has eroded away. and or bury them. Looks like it's going to bury these guys. And there's a lot of water. Well, we're making our way over to the, the bridge. And again, that was buckled earlier this spring.
Oh, actually, over the winter. See all this soil has eroded away. And this bridge is impassable. Storm actually climbed it earlier. Don't go up there, honey. He learned his lesson. He's not going up there. But you can see it's really, really bad. Anyway, there we are. Thanks for watching.